Hey guys, LJ Massa here. Before we start today's conspiracy theory video, I just want to make a little announcement. On the 22nd of May, there was a suicide bombing in Manchester. The attack shocked the world, shocked England, and definitely my home city of Manchester. So me and a couple of friends have decided to do like a fundraise, fundraiser and try and make money for the victims' families. Um, hopefully this will help them and in any way, shape or form that we can help. To, do, to raise the money, we are having a charity football match. It will be held at Women's Town FC in Manchester at 2pm on Monday, Bank Holiday Monday, this Bank Holiday Monday coming up. If you guys want to uh, join us, you are more than welcome. Uh, also, if you want to donate, you'll be able to donate at the event and it'll be a great day for you guys to come down and support the community and also just support us and help us raise as much money for the, this cause as, as possible as obviously this is such a terrible thing, 22 have died, 59 are injured and it's just awful. So please, please, please share this information. The, vi the match will be on my channel uh, for you guys to watch. I'll make highlights or I'll put the full match there as it will be recorded. Um, please donate and please just help us raise as much money as possible for this. Thank you guys. Hey guys, LJ Matt here, welcome back to my second spooky video. In this week's spooky video, we're going to be talking about scary things about Disney. This includes weird facts, conspiracy theories, and subliminal messages hidden in their films. Number one, Nemo, sooner or later. What a lot of people don't realise is that clownfish are hermaphrodites, meaning that they can change sex in order to mate. Meaning sooner or later, Nemo or Marlin who are father and son will have to change to the to a female in order to reproduce. Talk about incest much? Number two, Toy Story is based off a horror film. Yes, this is indeed true. The Toy Story is full of the Shining references. From the same carpet in Psycho Sid's house to the use of the number 237, which if you didn't know is the most haunted room in the Over Overlook Hotel. Number three, this one is very, very upsetting. It involves the death of a young child and it is just, it's devastating. For any of those who don't like these kind of things, then I advise you to skip this to the next number. In 1999, on the It's a Small World ride at Disneyland, the ride was closed and evacuated for an undisclosed reason. It, one of the mothers that were on the ride had decided to take a few snaps before she left so she could finish off her role in a camera. When the pictures were finally developed, it showed a young, limp child hanging from the ceiling. Of course, I can't, I'm not going to show you this images, but if you do look this up on the internet, you will find it very easily. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna show it because it is devastating for the family and I feel really bad for whoever child this was. Disney played this off as a prank though and said it was a doll that was hanging from the ceiling. But was it like, this is supposed to be the happiest place in the world. <laughs> You're not going to obviously advertise that a kid was found hanging from a ride. But I guess we'll never know. Number four, Walt Disney's body is frozen and hidden somewhere in Disney World. This is not as crazy of a theory as it sounds. Basically, as we know, Walt Disney was a very heavy smoker. This caused him to get diagnosed with lung cancer. While speaking to his doctor, he asked, would cancer ever be cured? Then the doctor replied, 100%, it should be curable within the next 40 to 60 years. So Walt had his body frozen, so when cancer was finally cured, he could be unfrozen and live a long, happy life. He decided to freeze his body after he heard about chronic freezing. He also decided to put a lot of research and money into people that were researching chronic, uh, chronic freezing and offered his body to do this type of freezing. One of the first companies that did this was the American Chronic Society, which surprisingly enough is also based in California and is still around today. This company was founded on the 10th of December 1966, only five days before Walt Disney passed away. But was he actually frozen by this company and still being preserved to this day? The sad thing about this is, even if it was possible, cancer is a profitable disease in America. By getting people to donate for research, it, they make a lot of money. Ever be able to cure cancer, considering they've had all these years of research and still nothing. 
But I guess that's another conspiracy theory that we may go into in the future. Number five, subliminal messages. Disney's subliminal message are one of the things that they are mainly criticised for in as some people believe that they are brainwashing young children. One of the main examples of this is in The Lion King, where there is two subliminal messages. Firstly, have any of you guys ever seen the cover of The Lion King film? As you can see, there, as you can see, that's Simba's face in the sky, but if you look close enough, you can see a naked woman in a thong. Number two, when Simba falls on the floor, dust, fly, dust flies up in the air and it spells the word sex in the sky. Here's a video to prove it. Check it out. Our second movie that comes with subliminal messages is none other than Aladdin. Where in this scene, Aladdin is seen on Prince Jasmine's balcony. But there he sees Jasmine's tiger, Raja. He then says something on the lines of, Good teenagers, take off your clothes. Leave me alone. Down. So how's our little bow doing? Oh, mouse. Let's get Come on, good teenagers, take off your clothes. Down. 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 Wait. Oh, you don't hear that? Well, let me play it for you again. Come on, good teenagers, take off your clothes. Yeah, I'm sure this is something that you could probably listen to over and over again or every day, but apparently in this clip, Aladdin says, Good tiger, get out of here. I'm sorry, mate, you didn't say that. You said teenagers, take your clothes off. Comment down below what you think about these subliminal messages. Are they brainwashing children? And did Aladdin say, teenagers, take your clothes off? Or did he say, get out, tiger, good tiger, get out of here? Let us know down below. If you'd like to see a part two of this, please smash that thumbs up button and comment down below. If you've also got any other conspiracy theories or spooky videos you'd like me to talk about, again, leave it in the comments. If you subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. In a bit, peace.